Today is an exciting video because I just got my bonus check for the month. Thursday everyone and welcome to cash me in paradise my name is Jocelyn I'm a cash envelope stuffer and budgeter here in Hawaii for those of you that are new to the channel aloha and welcome and for all of my returning subscribers thank you so much for your support hey everyone welcome or welcome back to the channel Today is an exciting video because I just got my bonus check for the month. Woo -hoo! So happy to film another mini cash stuffing for you guys. I will also be doing my weekly check-in for paycheck number one of September to see where my money went for the week. If this is something that you're interested in, stick around and let's begin. I hope you all are having an amazing week so far. Can you guys believe we're already halfway through the month of September, which means there's only 100 days left until Christmas. So hard to believe. I'm super excited because this time of the year means that I get to buy presents for my friends and family. And I also get to spend time with them as well. So yeah, let's go ahead and dive right into this uh, weekly check-in and see where my money went. All right, so we left off on uh, last week, Thursday, which was my PD. I actually did have a no spend date here, so I just have to put a sticker there later on, I forgot. Friday was another no spend date, which is amazing, you guys. So I think I'm at one, two, three, four, five. So we're actually at the halfway mark with no spendies. My goal for the month is 10, which is awesome, you guys. On Saturday, I did spend $20 on gas. I always fill up at the halfway mark. Um, I spent $10 here for coffee and tea. On Sunday, my mom and I went grocery shopping, so we spent $90 on groceries. Monday, I also treated her to takeout. I spent $40 for our dinner. And then um, I also had a bill that came out, which is for my music for YouTube, so it was about $8. Tuesday, I did have also a no spend date. And then on Wednesday, my rent was due, which was for $550. And then today, since I am actually sp uh, filming this the day ahead, um, I won't know until the following week if I spent any money here or not. So I think I did fairly well for the week with my no spend dates. How are you all doing what you're spending this week? Are you crushing your goals or are you finding areas that you overspent? If you did overspend, I challenge you to look at your budget and see if there's any ways that you can cut costs. But yeah, super happy with the progress that we've made so far. All right, so I have my wallet here. Let me just go ahead and get out my cash envelopes and see exactly how much money we have left over for the week. All right, so first up is groceries. And um, as you can see, a moment ago, we spent $90. So I should have 80, 50, 60, 70, and $80 going forward. So super awesome. We have been trying really hard to cut back on, um, you know, eating out. We did eat out once this week, which is awesome. But going forward, I will challenge myself to, you know, continue to making more food at home just because in the long run, it does save a lot of money. Next, we have gas and I did spend $20 last week. So we should have $30 left over, 20 and 30. And I do have a link for gas, actually it's a rewards program. So um, I'll link that down below if you wanna sign up. You basically get to earn cash back on your gas when you fill up. And every time your referral also fills up on gas, you'll earn a penny off of them as well, which is awesome. All right, up next is normally for my two cats, but I actually did not spend any money on them. I actually pulled money from this envelope for my niece's savings challenges. So normally I budget for $60 and I have 10 and $20 left over. So I did take out $40. All 
And if you want to participate in the same challenges, check out my last video. There are two that I'm participating um, for fellow budgeters here on YouTube. First one is Budget by Brent's Fall Savings Challenge and Chris Budget. She's also doing the Fall into September Savings Challenge. Next up is Spending. And Spending, I also took money from here for the Savings Challenge. It's so normally a budget for $40 for myself and I have now 10 and $20 left over. You guys, I love to shop online, so I do think I really need to delete all of my shopping apps, especially Amazon. I feel like that one is so tempting. I have been actually really good. I haven't bought anything recently on there, but I know that the app is there and I always like to check it every week. So yeah, I might delete that app pretty soon. Last up is drinks and eating out. So I was able to bless my mom with dinner on Monday. It was really nice to just take out food. So I have five, 10, 15, and $20. I normally budget for 60. So yeah, this is something that I've been working on as well. I do try my best to make coffee as much as I can at home. And for drinks, I'm sorry, for eating out, we did really well this week just by going out once. So I'm gonna try to continue that trend going forward to try to stick to at least one or two days of eating out. So I'm just gonna go ahead and just put these back into the wallet. So as you can see, guys, we have made really tremendous progress. We have money going forward to get us through to the next paycheck. So to round it off again, groceries, I have 80, gas, 30, my cat's 20, Spending 20, pay it for 10, and then drinks and eating out is 20. Right, guys, I'm gonna just jump to a commercial break and I'll be right back. Extra, extra, hear all about it. Cash Me in Paradise is having a giveaway. Woo! All right, you guys, I'll stick to my day job. Anyway, just wanted to jump right in to just remind you guys about the giveaway I'm doing. I will be giving a total of three prizes. This one is a $25 Amazon gift card to one lucky winner. I have received quite a bit of entries in my last video, so make sure to check out that video for a chance to enter. And two lucky winners will also be receiving these really cute bling bling cash um, binders that Davina C. blinged out for us, you guys. Super cute. And I also included from her shop these glitter gem stickers that you can customize on the three cash envelopes that I will also be sending. And then it also comes with this really cute little charm. It's like a little fluff ball, which I thought was super cute. And then the third person will also receive the same thing. The only difference though is this um, little beige or brown little um, fluff ball. <laughs> so yeah, you guys, super happy to be doing this giveaway. I want to give back to each and every one of you. I wish I could give a prize to everybody. But good luck and you have until this Sunday to go ahead and enter my giveaway. All right, you guys, this is the moment you've all been waiting for my mini cash stuffing for my bonus check. I will go ahead and write down the denominations, head to the bank and I'll catch you all when I get back. All right, you guys, I'm back from the bank. So let me just go ahead and take out the cash and count it real quick. So we'll be working with a total of 120, 40, 60, 80, 200. 220, 40, 60, 80, 300. 320, 40, 60, 80, 400. And 420 and 425. So I was actually looking at this $100 bill, you guys. And if you can see, it's from 1988, which is almost as old as I am. <laughs> but I thought this was amazing, you guys. I never see these in circulation anymore. So. I think I'm gonna hold on to it. I did actually look it up on eBay and I see a few other $100 bills going for at least like almost $200, which is awesome. All right, first up is car maintenance and it's gonna get additional $40 from this bonus check. I think it's important to always put money into this category. You just you never know when car repairs will come up. But it now has 100, 150, 170, 190, 210, 230, and $240. And I do have a car appointment scheduled for the end of this month for my regular maintenance. All right, next up is my emergency fund. And I'm going to be also putting another $40 into this category. I did recently fully fund this. And that's the reason why I have this 1K slip here. So all money here that you see is in the bank. And I just replaced it with that um, 1K slip. 
but it now has $1,150, and $1,190. category in this binder is my debt snowball. I do want to add $200 here. I am working really hard to try to get this care, uh, care credit card paid off. Alright, so it has $100, $200, $300, $350, $370, $390, $410, $430, and $450. Next up is my future binder. So bed is not going to get anything. Health, I do want to put another $20 here. Okay, so it now has $20, $40, $50, $50, which is awesome. Okay. Moving along into, let's see. Electronics. Electronics is going to be getting 25 I will be actually using this envelope, I think, for my uh, Cyber Monday or Black Friday envelope. Um, I am going to be working, so I think I will use it for that. But it now has 50 70 90 95 and 100 Which is awesome, guys. We're getting closer to getting that Apple Watch. And the iPad. Next up is my three to six month expenses, and I am going to be putting $60 into this category. Okay, so my three to six month expenses now has 100, 150, 200, 20, 40, 60, 80, 300, and 320. I think it's super important to also set aside money for. So what if just in case if something ever happens and you need to fall back on this i want to try to get at least four to five thousand dollars saved in this category next up is my investments and um, it's going to get the last forty dollars that i have here i do also invest every paycheck so i don't disclose right now how much i invest but i will be depositing this later on but i know how 50 70 90 110 and 115. You guys are making progress. I'm super excited. All right, you guys, that's going to do it for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed watching. If you're not already a subscriber, I really hope you'll consider subscribing down below. And if you're not already entered in the 400 subscriber giveaway, um, I will link the information down below. But you have until this Sunday to go ahead and enter. Good luck to everybody, and I'll catch you all in my next video. Aloha. Take care.